we are back with the 7.0 update we are on the test server as always the test server is not a real server this is not my real account we are on a test server in a test environment i've been given early access to this test server by the Lilith developers. Um, with that being said, guys, we are going to zero in on the new anniversary event that is coming up in late March that is gonna be following the actual 7.0 update. So we're gonna take a look at the anniversary event. We're gonna see what all it has in store for us and we're gonna jump right into it. Welcome back guys, here is the second anniversary event. We've got a whole host of mini events within the actual anniversary event itself. Some of these are gonna be familiar with uh, a lot of you guys. This event is going to bring um, three brand new base skins, some new unit skins, tons of rewards on the line. It's also going to offer a totally free permanent base skin for everybody within Warpath, so that's going to be exciting. Um, so we're going to take a dive into it and see what all we've got. So we're going to start from the top and just work our way over. So we've got the bingo event, which you guys are pretty much all familiar with the bingo event now. Um, the bingo event, as you guys um, fill up this board, you're going to get these different prizes you see along the border here. And then once you fill out the entire board, assuming that you are able to, um, then you'll get an additional prize there. So nothing really new with the bingo event, but the bingo event is also going to play a role in um, earning you points to get some other stuff in this event. Next is going to be Percy's Legendary Showroom. This is going to offer us um, a, quite a few different things here. Um, we are going to, of course, have some chat emotes. We have got a new robot emoticon. We have a new Martyr's Watch Howitzer unit skin. This is going to be Desert Viper. It's going to offer firepower, unit firepower of plus 5%. We are going to have a brand new Omega Warrior base skin. It's going to offer firepower and artillery damage of plus of plus five percent each. We're going to have a new Psy Fidelity um, chat bubble. It looks like we have got Omega Missile. We have got Great Nade. Um, they are just effects within the game. Let's see here. Let's take a look. We have got a new. Um, classic base skin. We have got Laputa. I believe that's how you pronounce that. We're going to take a look at that live too and um, preview that on the actual base skin so you guys can see that live um, after we work our way through this event here. All right, so that's the legendary showroom. We've got a new event. This is going to be called Gunning for the Top. So this is where the bingo battle and the Percy showroom are going to come into play because the points that you were able to earn through these events are going to be how you rank. And of course, as always, it's going to be whoever ranks in the top is going to be able to get this base skin. And let me just say, this base skin, it's, while it is pretty much exclusive for the whales, this base skin is going to be a freaking monster. It's going to be, it's it looks so cool, guys. It's arguably one of my favorite if not my favorite looking base skins in the game but of course obviously you have to put a lot of money into the game to be able to even have a chance um to attain this obtain this so but that is going to be gunning for the top this is going to be the combat board we've had similar events like this in the past we have one if you guys um were playing the game during the christmas event you guys are going to remember you guys have to earn points as a server and you guys are going to be able to fill up all of these different key objectives here and then light up the board and then as you go through you're going to get different objectives as you work here next up on the list is going to be distract and destroy special ops so this is going to be very similar to the standard distract and destroy event that you guys are all used to um, but this is going to offer a little bit better rewards compared to the normal um, distract and destroy event so for uh, obtaining the raven flags you guys are going to have the opportunity to get some bingo uh, bingo balls as well as a ground refined component here and then for destroying the flagged spec op raven bunkers you guys are going to have the opportunity to get more bingo balls some wrenches all of the things plus an air force refined component plus this is how you were going to actually earn the free permanent base skin 
Once you get to 4,500 points on the flag event, you guys are going to be able to choose between one of the following, the Penguin Palace, which I would assume if you were around for the Christmas event, pretty much everybody's already got that. But if you don't have it, you're going to have the opportunity to get it or the Joint Command, which is going to be a permanent version of what was previously for last year's anniversary event, a free base skin, but it was only temporary. It only lasted for 30 days once you actually um, applied it to your base. So you're going to be able to have the opportunity to get that now permanently. So couple of opportunities there to pick a base skin that you would want um, and you can get it totally free just by participating in the distract and destroy special ops event um, then we are going to have a memory road this is going to be I'm not gonna click on this because it's gonna take us through a whole like um, you know bunch of cutscenes and things like that but if you guys remember those of you that were around for the first anniversary it is going to be uh, very similar to that where you're able to go through your own anniversary book it's going to show you a lot of the details from your personal account and your personal page throughout the year like what your power was kills things like that so it's really cool it just gives you a little kind of look back in at the pre at the whole previous year um, for your account specifically so really cool little deal there um, but I just want to be respectful of your guys' time so we're not gonna go through all of those little different scenes there and plus this is not it's not even gonna really detail any information because I am on the test server but you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about when this update goes live and the anniversary event does begin and then we are going to have a, the return of Alliance Quiz. This was actually very popular from my understanding within the community. I had a lot of people that really had a lot of fun with this in the previous Alliance Quiz event, which was around in Christmas. It's going to offer game-related questions, real-life related history questions. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Everybody's going to have the opportunity to compete. And then, of course, as you compete, get a, get a set total number of points. You guys are going to also be able to earn um, rewards. So... You guys are going to be able to earn some of these rewards um, every single day. So, um, as, assuming once you get to the 160 uh, personal points. So, a lot of fun there. The Alliance Quiz seemed to be a really popular event within the community there. Um, then, Red Packs. This is also a, um event that came with the Christmas-themed event we had at the end of 2022. Um, so, nothing really new here. You guys are going to be able to obtain these red packets. You guys can send these red packets out to your um, alliance or to your um, world chat or wherever. Um, your battleground chat, there's a few different options there. Um, and then the first five people to click on them are going to be the ones who get the prizes. And then after you guys obtain X amount of red packets, you guys are going to be able to send um, these, whatever they're called. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find out. Uh, but these, the you guys can see up here, I'm circling it, the white packets or whatever, the the, the cream-colored packets, which are going to give uh, 10 people the opportunity to earn prizes from that, and they're going to be pretty, pretty good prizes. So that seemed to be a lot of fun for people um, as well from what I saw personally, people trying to compete to click the packets first and stuff like that. So a lot of fun there. Should be a good event. Um, and then next top base, this is going to be a community based event where you guys can submit your base design. If you feel like you've got a base design worthy of being submitted, you guys are going to be able to submit it. They're going to take a um, pick at the top bases that they um, think are, are worthy of winning. And then if you do um, get selected, you are going to be able to win some of these prizes down here. Um, so, and this will outline how you're actually going to be able to go about submitting the actual bet, your actual base design. So, just another fun little mini event within the actual anniversary event as a whole. Um, so, with that being said, guys, this is the overview of the actual um, anniversary event here coming up. So, um, should be a lot of fun, guys. I'm really looking forward to it. There's going to be a lot of rewards, a lot of prizes up for grabs here. So, I think it's going to be a good event. Um, and we are going to jump over now and we are going to take a look at the new base skins as well as the new um, battle effects. So we are going to take a look at those. All right, guys, we are going to apply these three brand new base skins, give you guys an opportunity to see what they're going to look like as well as see the effects that they're going to bring with them. So we're going to start with Omega Warrior here, which is going to be um, obtainable through the Per, uh, Percy showroom event. This is the artillery damage and firepower of plus 5%. I'll let it run through its its deal here. So pretty cool. This is basically like an upgraded version of last year's basic Omega skin. Um, so it definitely looks a lot cooler in my opinion 
um, than the previous one. Um, this we're gonna we're gonna take a look at Laputa. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, um, but this is going to be what that looks like so it's kind of a futuristic sci-fi thing um this is going to be also through the percy showroom event um this is going to be one of the classic skins this is going to offer troop and base damage resist of plus five percent and then firepower plus ten percent um so really good buffs there so this is really the extent of it it just kind of hovers and you know does its thing there so again pretty cool it looks kind of futuristic sci-fi ish so if that's kind of your thing um maybe that would be something you could push for and then this is going to be the Gundam um, base skin, and I think this thing is kick-ass, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to let it go through its thing a couple times here. Um, but it's troop and base damage of 5% and then firepower of plus 10%. I mean, look at that. That is just freaking bad. That is legit. I think that's so cool, guys. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but man, that... That's pretty dang cool in my honest opinion. I mean, look at that freaking minigun right there. Just hosing them down, folks. Just hosing them down. All right, let's jump over here. Oh, I'm going to click out of this so you guys can have a better idea here. Uh, so let's see which one we've got here. Um, this is Great Nade. This is going to be ground attack effect, so you guys can see it here. Um, it looks almost like it's like a, a Molotov cocktail kind of thing. Um, a little... A little bit so that's kind of that and then let's take a look at air attack effects so let's see um, here we go oh no homing missile is not one sorry Omega missile here we go so that's the Omega missile this is the air attack effect I think that's pretty freaking sweet I'm actually really excited for some of these attack effects whether I am able to unlock them or not uh, who knows but I think these look pretty freaking cool if I'm just being perfectly honest with you guys um, so we will exit out of that back out of here. Um, so with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap us up. That is a quick overview, quick summary, quick look at the anniversary event. So lots of prizes, lots of cool base skins, effects, um, emotes, things like that, all available and on the line to be able to get and unlock. So super excited for some of these things. Um, yeah, that's uh, no, nothing really like out of this world new in terms of like some of these events. Um, but there is going to be, again, a lot of a, a lot of cool prizes on the line here that you guys are going to have the chance um, to be able to get. So with that being said, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the anniversary event. Are you looking forward to it? Not looking forward to it? Um, if you are, if you guys are going to be competing in the bingo event, the Percy Showroom event, um, let me know what base skin you guys liked the most and then what base skin you guys are going to try to push the hardest for um, to be able to actually get. That being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, found some value here, uh, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button as both of those things help me and the channel out tremendously. And then as always, if you guys want to join our community Discord server, um, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Absolutely, everybody is welcome to come be a part of it with us. We'd love to have you guys. With that being said, guys, I appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.